Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose Smugs PR and the editor of Punchline Magazine. Today I'm at Barclay and we're looking at the police, uh, pl the new police academy actually. And today I'm with uh, Martin Sill, Police and Crime Commissioner. Hello, Mark. Hi there, Paul Wright from Wilton Dixon. Wilton Dixon. Okay, let's start with you, sir, first before we go into the, bu into the building. How big is it? How long is it going to take? And how many people are on site? Okay, so we started on the 16th of September. We're running for 31 weeks through to the 20th of April 2020. The building is approximately 3,100 square metres, and we've got around 12 people on site today because we've only just started. But that that'll peak at about 60 to 80 people when we really get up and up and running. Fantastic! Can you take us inside? Yeah, no problem. And, uh, well, I know there's lots of bits and pieces, lots of guys on site. Thank you for inviting us today, Martin. No, nice to see you. We're very proud of this. It's going to put us on the map, uh, in the UK for sure. And I think the the big thing is, let's be honest, it's a bit top secret. Not many people know about this. It's a good site. It used to be a, a hive activity when nuclear power had it. Um, it's been standing empty for a year or so, and now it's really taken off. We've got University of Gloucester next door, the Bloodhound, uh, SGS schools. So I think this site's going to take off, and there's a lot of interest. I think we've got interest right. So we're coming up to the, the bit here, and uh, what, what, what's the sort of building side looking at at the moment, and Paul? What are you guys doing? So okay, uh, as I said, we only started on Monday. So the first thing we need to do is strip the existing ceilings and walls, um, which we're currently in the process of doing. We've been at this for, for two days now, actually, stripping. Uh, and this is to get the building back to a blank canvas, which we'll then uh, do a laser cloud survey on to check the existing structure and services uh, and make sure everything fits. Um, so in a few weeks time, we'll then start putting up the new petitions. And how long will this sort of side of work take? Uh, so the demolition, uh, well the strip is not actual demolition, that'll take uh, around five weeks. Okay, good stuff. So Martin, what is this area going to be used okay, for? Where we're stood now is going to be a lecture theatre, about 160 people lecture theatre, great sound, great Wi-Fi, uh, really state-of-the-art so we can lecture here, uh, private events, police events, mainly police events, and then moving out there, you can see the views, and if you can, they're absolutely, probably some of the best in Gloucestershire. That's partly what attracts us to it. We want it to be a relaxing, learning environment for the, for the officers, the staff, the students to come. Uh, De-stress them a little bit. Um, it's just a fantastic view. And this would be like the breakout area into the lecture theatre. 160 people. And then beyond that, the other side, the teaching area. Uh, we can probably train 60 officers at a time, plus the routine training. Uh, the way police is going now, you have to be trained in everything, accredited. But really we want somewhere like our, our local police university, that's what we're, we're aiming for, a really state-of-the-art place for the, the police in Gloucestershire, and we'll share it if we can with other forces. But Martin, why, why can't we use something like, um, you know, like a Gloucestershire university or something? Well, we, we've got the University of Gloucestershire next door, we've got Stroud Schools next door. Police is quite a specialist environment, we need our own place. Uh, for the security reasons, to some extent, this side will be open, that sort of be secure. And because I think British policing has, because of austerity, has lost its training arm, shall we, shall we say? There's very few of these places left now. So we think it will attract business, we think it will um, really give the officers a sense of pride. We work very well with University of Gloucestershire, and this training facility is actually linked to the University of uh, South Wales, who are a credited part partner for police training just across the bridge. Now, I think the timing couldn't be perfect. The government has uh, said that they want to recruit 20,000 police officers starting in, I believe, is it May next year? And when is this going to be up and ready? Well, this opens in May next year. It, we heard it'd be finished in April. Now, I've been a real pain about the opening date and how long it's going to take to do. Everybody will tell you that, but I'm determined to get it open. Yep, government, 20,000 new officers across the UK. That means 40,000 recruitment. This will probably be one of the very best facilities in the country. We hope to attract people from elsewhere, but we'll need them for ourselves anyway. Perfect timing, some luck, some judgment. Hey, that's people the, that's what decide. business is all about sometimes. <laughs> of course, we go, over there, we've got the Forest of Dean, we've got Wales in the distance, and of course, Bristol just down the road. <coughs> Obviously, our guys down in Gloucestershire as well, so the, the, the location couldn't be more perfect. The location's good. It's a little way out of town, but that's fine, because we've got parking here. We have 250 spaces, which is like... Oh, it's so valuable that now. Just off Junction 13, 14. 
but it's away from the city, which is what we kind of wanted. We want people to come here for their, their week's training or their three months training and really feel that they are focusing on relaxing a little bit, not, not chilling out, but relaxing, concentrating on what they've got to do and a bit of downtime as well, because it's a very stressful job within the, the police service at the moment. And we hope to have people from other emergency services as well. You know, they're, they're very welcome. Okay, so the room that we're in at the moment, obviously that's going to be the conference centre, you said. Yeah. Uh, this area... This um, here is going to be a, an, another uh, conference facility, a small one for about 25, 30 people. Again, mm -hmm. the atmosphere is great. Uh, and also part of that we, we can use, we can zone this off so it's private, uh, open to the public if they want to use it. The other side is the main teaching area um, where we have up to six classrooms, all will take about 25 students. So we can double those up um, by participants and make it even bigger. Uh, so this would be a more secure area for the students to come and, and work. How many police officers will be coming here at any one time? Any idea on that at all? Well, it could be anything up to a hundred or so to just to, you know a score or two. It would depend, but certainly in the current training environment that we're recruiting, uh, it would be a lot more than that. But downstairs will be the gym, the the officer safety training, where they they learn to uh, use their tasers, they keep fit, all that kind of stuff. So that'll be all on site, and sometimes that's twenty or thirty at a time. There'll be a lot of police traffic coming through uh, Barclay, which is good. So we come down here, so where are we? This is going to be the different classrooms now yeah. all broken up. This is a teaching area, six classrooms, big breakout centre in, in, in the middle here. Uh, they can double up and make it in, into four, but they'll be bigger. And all this area here will be breakout learning environment, uh, a bit of a library, high IT, just a very good conference centre, probably absolutely state of the art, but not crazily expensive. Okay, crazily expensive. Let's just go over the costs again. Okay. So what's the price? Okay, the cost of the building was £600,000. That's with all the, the parking and all the access to the canteen and the restaurant areas, all the grounds outside, football pictures, a whole lot. We're going to spend about £6 million in total uh, to get this place really ready for the next 25, 50 years. It sounds like a lot of money. The intention is to sell another building we're using at the moment, which has no parking, is not so good. Uh, it's an investment, but it's an investment in the county. We don't have anything like this in the county, and you've seen the location. So it's a good investment, and um, I think very justifiable. Well, I wish you all the best, Martin. I hope it all goes according to plan. Thanks Thank very you. much. You're good.